Here we show the assembly of the EC Opto 10. We first assemble the cell lid. Put the seal into the lid. Then on top the window, sapphire window in this case. Insert this plastic sleeve. Then attach the flange with the provided screws. Using the provided torque wrench, we screw in the screws first gently, only gently, one after the other. And finally, Tighten the screws until you hear the, the wrench clicking. So this is to make sure that you don't break the brittle window. Now the lid is ready assembled. Next, we insert the central plunger into this lower part using this tool. We push on the plunger, push it down into the plastic sleeve, attach the assembly into the cell base. Now we need to assemble the electrode strips into the sample holder. Do so by using this tweezers. This is the first strip. You can have different shapes. The active layer must point up. Same for the second strip. When you compress the tweezers, then the finger lifts and you can put the electrode strip, strip um, below this contact finger. Here we have the trouble. Okay, and then you can precisely align the, the two electrodes towards each other. The electrodes can be aligned side by side, as shown here, or they can be aligned uh, so that they are pointing head to head. Okay, next we put in the lithium metal onto the central plunger. Put the glass fiber separator, 10 millimeter diameter on top. The glass fiber, fiber disc can also be smaller to prevent that the sample holder is in contact with the electrolyte. Then we insert the sample holder with the electrode strips attached. Put the seal in place. Add some electrolyte onto the separator and the electrode strips.
attach the satellite. The screws are plated with, with silver to, to prevent excessive friction when, when you attach the lid and when you screw in. Okay, and done.